I'm a member of St. Francis of Assisi and a volunteer at the St. Francis Gardening Angels. As we begin to move from winter into spring, I start to think about the annual cycle of seasons. The weather's getting warmer and the days are getting longer, and we start to think about plants beginning to grow again. In the garden, we'll prepare the soil and start to plant seeds for fruits and vegetables. Throughout the summer, we'll take care of those plants, fertilize, and control the weeds. And we'll begin to harvest. God will provide the sun and the rain needed for the plants to grow. We'll then move into fall, when the trees will start to turn colors and we'll continue to harvest. Eventually the harvest will end and we'll prepare for, for winter. The garden appears to be dead. Trees look dead in winter and the garden looks empty. Even though the garden looks dead, there are still things happening. The tree roots are still alive, quiet and ready to support life again in the spring. The snow provides moisture for the following year and microbes continue to work in the soil. Gardeners can go through the same cycle. In the spring, there's excitement. We're ready to get back into the garden again. We work hard through the summer and harvest into the fall. It can be discouraging at the end of the year when everything appears to be dying. But winter gives us a time to relax, refresh, plan, and prepare for the start of the next cycle. Gardening is a mysterious combination of human work and nature's power. We could say the same thing about our spiritual life. I guess the cultivation of our spiritual life is similar. We all go through cycles of challenge, darkness, new life, beginnings, and inner joy. We're entering the season of Lent. Lent is a part of the cyclical nature of our soul's growth. We follow Jesus into a desert retreat period. But just as the garden is not dead during winter, Lent is not a time for desolation. Lent is a time to look at ourselves and who we want to be in relation to God, our, ourselves, and other people. Lent is a season of grace, a time where God works miracles in our hearts. What's the plowing and preparation that we need to do during Lent this year? What do we need to work on? What do we need to change? Traditionally, the Catholic Church has focused on prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. These things open us up so that God can work miracles in us. It will produce a plentiful harvest, a life of abundance, love, peace, and joy. God has miracles that he wants to work in you this year during Lent. To help you take advantage of this season of growth that is Lent, look at the family faith resources that the Diocese of Des Moines has provided on their website. And watch these videos each week. I hope you take some time during Lent to cultivate your soul so that God can work miracles in you.